Hello? I'm trying to reach Oliver. Yeah, this is him. Hey, uh, you married, you, 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 you engaged in Madison, right? Uh, yes, I am. There's a problem with it or something? What, what's up? No, 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 no. I'm, my name is Ricky, man. Have you heard about uh, her last person that she was engaged to? Well, she kind of spoke briefly about you. Okay, but you know what, man? First of all, let me just say this. Congratulations, okay? Let me, let me be the first to say that. Congratulations for uh, y'all getting engaged, and I hope it worked with y'all. Okay. Okay. Here, here's why I call. Uh, we got a we got a situation at hand that we kind of need to clear up between you and I. So, okay. uh, what is it? Me, me and you got a little conversation we need to have about property. Well, we talking about property. What property? The property we live in? What are you talking about? This is my property. Okay, no, I'm not talking about your house or nothing like that. Oh, okay. I got some property over there that belong to me, and and I'm trying to figure out how we can rectify our problems. Well, I'm quite sure if it's something I can pack up or whatever, you can come get it. I have no problem. What do you have over here in my house that's yours? Okay, the actual the actual breast that she had belonged to me. The the the, the breast. Her you breast. Know. I bought her some breast implants. Man, I ain't know nothing about no breast implants. Okay, you might not know nothing about it, but the bottom line is I spent ten thousand dollars on some breast implants, and I want my property back. <laughs> Buddy, man. <laughs> Jeez, no, man, you're not getting back. What are you talking about? Pressing plan? I ain't know nothing about that, man. Hey, man, I understand you're not that, knowing man. about it, but I'm calling you like a man explaining it to you, and I'm trying to let you know. You, you know, I, I bought her some breast implants. Now, that's my property. Now, just like just like when it don't work out, with, with uh, 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 an engagement don't work out, you want your ring back. Well, I want my breath back. Oh, no, man. You, if you had gave her a ring, you can get that back, but it's just some Man, what do you, I mean, come on, man, you ain't get back. Hey, man, I'm getting them back, or I'm going to be over there every other week being happy with what, what I done bought. No, no, that ain't that ain't what's going to happen. No, no, little brother, that ain't going to happen there. I don't know what you're calling for. About $10,000, the breast implants, you ain't getting You come over here if you want to. When you with somebody, when you lose them, you lose every damn thing you paid for. So if you bought us some your damn you should have bought the when you got married. You know what I'm saying? You should have waited then bought the damn So them mine. I'm going to be over here. That's what I'm going to do with your breasts and plants. So your money was well spent. You ain't get back. Move on in your life. Hey, man, you don't tell me when and when, when I'm supposed to buy something. I buy something when I feel like it. But the bottom line is them, them breasts belong to me. Nah, no, we're gonna work, no. We're gonna, somebody going to pay me $10,000 one way or the other. Oh, no, no, you ain't getting nothing back here, man. You got to move on with your life, man. When y'all broke up, y'all wasn't together no more than left with her. She walked away with him, man. That's it. That's over. I'm sorry. Hey, let, let, hey, let me say something to you, man. I'm coming over there. I'm coming over there and have a conversation with Madison about this, because that's who I evidently I need to talk to. No, you're not talking to nobody over here. You're talking to me like you say man to man. I'm letting you know, man, you're lost. You're lost, man. You don't get nothing. I ain't even get my number. You get my, let me get your number so I can call you back when she on her way home. My number on the breath. Your number on the breath, $10,000. That's your number. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to check it. I'm going to show, check it. I'm going to look at it every day because you ain't getting nothing back, brother. Them mind. You lost, man. It's over. Let me ask you this, man. Have you even bought the ring from Madison yet? Yeah, I bought the ring. That's what you do when you get engaged. I paid the ring is bought, brother. Why you worried about how much, much, much the ring costs? <clears throat> about eight nine thousand dollars. That nice ring. See that? See that? The breast costs more than the damn ring. You're a cheap man. Man, <laughs> you man. I mean, I just bought the ring. You talking about? Look, dude, she gone. Them breasts ain't yours no more, man. You don't get back here. If it was a ring, a pair of shoes, or something, I give you that back. So what now? What now? Hey, man, all I'm going to say is this here. I'm going to come over there and have a conversation with Madison about my breath, because the breath belongs to me. You're not coming over here and getting nothing. She ain't even here, but you can bring your over here. You come over here with your chest pushed out, I'm going to push it back in for your brother to don't. I got two breaths over there. Each of them is $5,000, and I want both of them. Man, look, you ain't getting But who the f*** is you? You call every ex-girlfriend you break up with wanting I call the ones that I'm at and bought breast for. Thank you. That's a good damn wedding gift, I guess. Hey, don't, hey, man, don't, don't, you, don't. Man? Let me tell you something. Don't you touch my damn breast. You hear me? Man, look here, man. I don't know who the hell, man. I, I ain't even get on my line, man. What, who is this? I'm the person that owned the breast. Do you know who this is? Man, you don't know nothing over here, man. You didn't took a loss on there, brother. You didn't took a straight loss on there, man. You got me f***ed up, partner. Who the f*** is this, man? You lost your I ain't calling my phone. I'm gonna tell you right now who this is, partner. Yeah, well, who is this? 
This is nephew Tommy, Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your girl Madison got me the prank phone call. <laughs> oh man, you boy, you ain't. <laughs> it's cold, boy. You, boy, you cold. <laughs> hey, somebody, but tell me this is it. They real, are they? How the hell I know? I don't, you're supposed to know what you marry. I don't know if they, why you asking me if they real? <laughs> I don't know, I'm still, but you don't know, but you bought some, you bought some Man, <laughs> you, know, you still got me messed up. <laughs> Real off fake, you sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, y'all come, man. Y'all y'all need to stop that, man. But I listen to you. And last people, you got to laugh my <laughs> up. I never thought I'd get got. <laughs> hey, Alvin, what's the baddest radio show, man? Steve Harvin Money Show. That's the truth. You got me good, man. You got me good, man. <laughs> Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach a Miss Diane, please. Uh, she's not in at the moment. May I take a message, please? My name is John. John, I'm actually the funeral director here at the funeral home. Miss Diane came in earlier today and, and uh, tried to get the arrangements set. First of all, I want to say my condolences to you all and your entire family for what you're going through. She, she filled out some paperwork here, and I wanted to make sure I got everything actually correct. Uh, I'm a little... Not sure on what she wants on the actual tombstone. I, I don't know if she wants Rob or or Robert. Are, are you are oh. you one of the members that may be able to tell me exactly what she would want on oh, the oh, tombstone? Oh, 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 oh. I am. I, I'm Robert. I'm, what's, this, what's this all about? She came here this morning. What, what, what you talking about? Okay, hold on a second, sir. You you who? I am Robert. Rob Robert. That's me. Okay, and okay, is, is there Robert? Senior or, or, or the junior is just a child. I'm Robin <laughs> Senior. That's who I am. Junior is a child. Neither one of us did. We're a help. Okay, 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 okay. Hang on. Oh my God. All right. I don't. Okay. Hang on a second, sir. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Diane, I'm, I'm, I'm Miss, 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 Miss Diane, Miss, sir, Miss Diane is your wife? Yeah, Diane is my wife. You sure you got the right Diane? You sure? Oh, uh, sure well, she, right she, she, she came in uh, this morning, uh, maybe. Five five, uh, what salt and pepper hair, shoulder length, uh, maybe a medium brown complexion. Mhm. What, what kind of car she was she driving? Did you see the car? Did you see the car or something? Uh, it seemed like it was a uh, some type of uh, was it a Camry? I think. Yeah, that's her. And what? I mean, what happened? Tell me, actually, tell me what happened this morning. She came in and said, "What to you?" She came in as Mr. Why, 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 why don't I call back when Miss Diane is there no, and we can... Don't call back. You know tell me that. Right now. I need to know what the is going on. You might want to tell me she want to have a funeral for me and you want to tell me you want to call me later. No, tell me that. Sir, all I know is, is, is Miss Diane came in. The paperwork was a little... I was just coming reevaluating you know, what, I, what, I, what, I, what, I, what I what I what was written here. It wasn't right. I mean, she came in. She, she picked out the casket. She did everything that she was supposed to... Casket, casket, bro, bro, this right here, bro. I don't understand. I don't really understand what's going on, but I'm gonna find out later on. I'm gonna find Sir, out. I, 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 I don't understand. I, I've, I've never been in a, I've never been in a situation like this. Okay, so you about to get in a situation. Maybe I need to call back when Miss Diane gets there. Man, okay, I said I need to talk to you now. She get here at six o'clock. Don't worry about that. Where you at anyway? What's your name again? Where you at? I'm, 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 I'm John, sir. I'm the, I'm the. Uh, Funeral home director. I'm sorry. Yeah, you, you might be you might be making some funeral rain for her too. I might need to switch names and put her name on there. Okay, sir. But guess what? Six o'clock is six o'clock. Sir, sir, six o'clock. You gonna be sir, there? Sir, a, a, a funeral yeah, is a very yeah. serious thing, sir. Mm -hmm. So you you you're, Man, you're so serious, bro? Look, you, my wife is coming. She trying to bury me. Me. I'm Rob. What name you got on the paper? Robert, yeah, right. it's, 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 it's Rob or Robert, whichever one. I mean, I, I don't, I don't. I mean, I, I won't. I don't want. I don't. I don't. I don't know. We ain't even been beefing. You know what I'm saying? We didn't even argue. We had a little light <laughs> argument last week by a little light bill, something a little <laughs> like that. But <laughs> you gonna have a funeral for me? Okay, man, this don't make no <laughs> sense. I tell you like this, uh, they got the right <laughs> now. You got the right one. I tell you, man, I'm not. <laughs> Uh, watch, watch, watch. Sir, sir, Mr. 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 Can, yeah, I, can, I, yeah. can I, I mean, since I have you on the phone, is it, is, can I ask you what? what? 
Is, is it all right if I ask you something, sir? Man, what the f you want to ask me, bro? I mean, since since it is your funeral, would you would you like the light blue lining or the white lining in, inside the, on the inside? Oh, of come on, cat. You play with me, right? Now you now you trying me. Now if I come down there and swing on your, <laughs> you won't like it. There gonna be two funerals. You and her. Keep on now. You gonna pick your own <laughs> lining. Oh, oh, man, I'm out here busting my. <laughs> out here twelve hour <laughs> shift. All I said, cut a little bit of <laughs> life off right here. Gonna keep the bill out. But you gonna say, huh? Around here, sir, sir, hello, sir. Three lights on, lights on, lights, lights, lights. Now a funeral? Come on, man. Boy, I swear to God. This okay, okay. Can I, can I, can I, can I tell you what else your wife told me when she was here? What? What else she told you? I need to know. Anyway, I need to know. Tell me. Go ahead, tell me. Well, she told me to tell you exactly who I was. What? Who is you? I'm, 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 I'm sorry. Who are you? Sir, You're the funeral director. I'm not. Yeah, okay. I'm not John. I'm not John from the funeral home. You better be. You better tell me you nobody else. Not no. 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 no none other. You talking about the funeral? This is. This right here is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> Your wife Diane got me to prank phone call you. <laughs> Hello, Mister. What the f <laughs> <laughs> Y'all I swear, boy. I swear, y'all ain't. Y'all ain't. Some boy ain't, boy. <laughs> y'all play too much, man. Y'all need to stop playing on people's phones, man. Oh, for real, man. Y'all need to cut this out. Tell that Steve, I say, hey, man, look here, bro. Big Daddy need a suit, man. Sam 58. I need all that. Need all that shoes, shop, hat, all that. All right, man. Hey, let me ask you, what is the baddest radio show in the land? <laughs> Steve Harvey, morning show. And that. Uh, hello? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to read Scotty, please. Yeah, yeah, what's up? Hey, 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 Scotty, how you doing, man? I'm trying to actually get a, uh, uh -huh. a reference for, for Monica. Monica? Well, you're talking about Monica's my, my ex-wife? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get a reference, uh, on her if possible. Oh, okay, so, what, is she applying for a job? She trying to go to work now? Uh, no, this reference is actually for, like, a relationship. But a, a relationship? Hey, so hold up, hold up, oh boy, wait a minute. A relationship? You, you talking about a job relationship? No, 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 no. See, what, what this here is is that I'm, I'm finna actually start dating Monica on the regular, and I'm calling you for a reference. Whoa, 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 hold up, wait a minute. Who, who did you say this is, and how'd you get my <laughs> My name Philip, man. My name Philip. I got your number out of Monica phone. Check this out, Phil. You don't need to call me with <laughs> Whatever you and Monica got going on, y'all need to go on and deal with that. No, 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 no. I, I got that, brother. Hang out, though. Hear me out. What I'm trying to say is, is that... I figured if I could get a reference and figure out what kind of person she is and get to get a, you know, kind of get a background so you can kind of tell me what kind of person, her good points, her bad qualities, the whole nine. See, it might save me some time from being in a long relationship if I know what to look for, what's good hey, and what's bad. Man, say, say, homeboy, oh homeboy, oh I know, I know I'm not listening to this. I was mad for 12 years. Ain't nobody give me no rep, so don't call me asking for no like that. If you got number for Monica, you and Monica need to forget my Okay, but hold up, hold up, bro. Like I'm saying, man, I'm just trying to figure Ain't out. No the, hold up. I'm trying to figure out the good qualities and bad qualities. Like, you know, does she want to cook? You know, is she good in the bedroom? You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to know. I'm trying to just know what to look for, dog. That's all, man. I ain't trying to come in, man. Look. Oh, but I just can't believe calling enough about some I don't have her no more. Only thing I have to deal with is my child. You know what I'm saying? And you most definitely don't need to be around. Now, say, dude, I got to go. Okay, 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 but can you give me a good reference on it? That's all I'm trying to get out, man. Yeah. The, re the reference is don't die my number ever again. And when I talk to Monica, me and her, but, hey, you ain't going to have to worry about a relationship with Monica. You know what I'm saying? Okay, 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 hold up, man. Let me go and break this to you. First of all, me and Monica then dated for, for the last year off and on. We just finna get serious. Whoa, 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 hold up, dude. The last year, me and this woman just got divorced a few months ago. Oh, so you that who must have messed up my no, hey, man, no, 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 I ain't, look, look, I ain't calling you the reason why y'all broke up. I don't have nothing to do with that. I don't have nothing to do with that. Oh, so you that slick say, man, why don't you slide your little slick back under that Lock that you slid for months. Hey, hey, 
hey, hey, dog, I can slide right on back under the rock you talking about. But what I'm trying to ask you is this right here, man. Hey, dog, can you just give a brother some references, man? Something I can look out for some signs that this year. Oh, boy, the reference I'm going to give you is when you don't have enough money, when she wants that $1,200 bag, don't call me for that. When she needs some more money for this, oh, well, baby, I just gave you my check. What don't mean nothing. And are you pull up your bank account? Ain't no money in that. That's the reference your need. Ain't I need to hear from you. Especially if you who was around with my boy while, while we was married. I'm a married. Hold up. The reference is I'm going to find your. I'm going to call Monica and I'm going to track down. There you go. Give you a reference, then yeah, yeah. I give you a reference then, face to face. Hey, dog, I ain't trying to have no obligation with you, man. Oh, boy, you must have been trying to have something. You dialing my Okay, okay dog, let me, okay, one more question, man, and then I'm going to be out your hell. I just, like I said, I just wanted a few things to know some background on them. Man, you you out of questions, homeboy. You out of questions. Okay, but this, this, I just need to know this because I want everything, hey, man, I want everything to run smooth, dog, and I want us to have a good understanding. Do you have a problem, man? With, with, with your little girl calling me daddy. What the did you just ask? You asked me about my daughter. Hey, 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 calm down, dude. Calm. I'm calm as I'm going to be. You asked about mine. This about mine. Hey, dog, I'm just asking you. Over here, I, you around me. I will come and the oh, homeboy. Look, I'm going to find because you a bad. You missed the bag. You dialed number. Not only you got that. But man, you talking about my child? I'm just asking, do you mind if she calling me daddy, oh, boy. dog? Oh, boy. Look here, man. That child there, her name cannot come out your mouth. You hear what I'm saying? Say, man, this man, I, I, I don't have time, but I'm going to call that Monica, and I'm going to get your Yeah, I'm going to get you. I'm out of here. You want Why are you calling me back? Scotty, 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 I'm, I'm trying, trying to tell you something. Why are I'm you dialing my number back, man? I'm trying to tell you something. Homeboy, you don't have nothing to tell me, homie. No, I want to say, Scott, Scotty, Scotty, just listen to me, man. I want to say this. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your brother Brian got me to prank phone call you. <laughs> hey, man, it's who? <laughs> it's who? Hey, Scotty, Scotty, this is Tommy, man. Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your brother Brian got me to prank phone call you. Say, man, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'm about to go, man. Hey, dude, I'm about to go ballistic over here, man. <laughs> hey, Brian got one coming, though. <laughs> oh, man, you all right, man? Yeah, yeah, say, man. <laughs> What's the situation? What, what's, what's, the, what's going on? I mean, I, I'm basically 
right now I'm twenty five hundred dollars in the rears due to due to Shanice. And and I, I you know, I, I need to see if she's gonna be able to pay me for the situation or what, you know. Do my girl owe you money? She she owes me twenty five hundred dollars. Twenty five hundred dollars for what? I don't even know who you are, first of all, so what's up with the twenty five hundred dollars? Uh, man first of all my name is Brandon. Okay, and I've been I, I know I've been knowing Shanice probably for the last three or four months now. Okay, so the, here you, you want to know it all in a nutshell is is like this. Shanice been coming through. Okay, for the last three or four months, been coming over here to my spot, to my apartment, hanging out. I'm just now finding out within the last two weeks, um, it's, I had to get rid of my couch. I had to get rid of my mattresses because your mattress because it's bed mattress. Hey, wait a minute, dude. Wait a minute. So you trying to tell me she was in your bed? Yeah, she been in my bed, dude. She been in your bed. Are you crazy? Hey man, come on hey, now, man. dude. Hey, you know, hey, dude, the is right now. Where she is. Twenty five hundred dollars. Problem is, you talking about twenty five hundred dollars? You talking about my girl was in your bed? Now we not even gonna get into that. You understand what I'm saying? But that twenty five hundred dollars, you can forget about it. No, 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 no. Hold up, bro. First of all, you calling here? You calling here? You calling here? And here's dude answer the phone, and you still got the to ask for her, and then gonna tell me about some twenty five hundred dollars about some. Mattress? Dude, I'm out. My, my mattresses, man, are a thousand bucks. It's it full of bed bugs. I had to throw that away. Man, I'm not worried about no damn mattress, dude. You talking about my girl. We've been together for four years. I'm about to pop the question on her, and you want to sit there and talk about she been hanging with you or kicking with you for the last four months. It's about to be over in a minute. Now, dude, if you want to marry Shanice, cool. I don't care nothing about that. Nah, nah, hey, don't even worry about that now. But you don't want to talk about some damn mattress, man. That's, that's a problem, dude. I ain't worried about no damn mattress. I don't worry about it. I ain't got no mattress right now. You call it mine? Dude, I do not have a mattress right now, nor do I have a couch. Do you understand? I don't care nothing about your right? mattress or couch, dude. I don't care nothing about that. Your name, you say your name, Brandon? I'm Brandon, yes. Yeah, Brandon, okay, don't worry about it, Brandon, because you're going to find me real soon. Don't let me find you before you find me, though. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? Dude, dude, dude. No, dude, dude. You can have some big bugs and that mattress or whatever. Answer these for all I care. But what I'm saying is, you talk about some big bugs, ain't no big bugs over here. Okay, so, so what she did not know about this, so she done brought them over here to my place. I don't care nothing about it. She ain't bring nothing over there, first of all. But I ain't, that ain't even a problem right now. Dude, you got to be over here, man. I ain't had nobody else over here. Right, don't worry about who you had over there. But you don't go call here talking about no money. You ain't getting nothing from here. Okay, first of all, dude, check this out. I don't have a problem with you, okay? Me and you cool. No, we you cool. Problem. We already got a problem. You calling me talking about you been sleeping with my brother. Hey, dog, dog. The one I'm going to say again. Me and you cool, dog. We cool. We not cool. We not cool. But uh, uh, I'm gonna find out the war. I'm gonna handle Shanice myself. I'm gonna handle you. I'm handle you later. What you, what you what you talking about? You you gonna handle me? I'm gonna handle you later. You want a mattress, right? Hey, hey, dude, dude, you want a mattress, right? And, and marry Shanice. I, I ain't got nothing to do with that. My worry about that. Get my money back, man, for the for the property of mine that she has ruined, man. I, don't worry about that. I'm gonna get you a mattress. Don't worry about that. It's gonna be a casket wrapped around that. No. Hey, hey, dude, dude, why are you sitting here creating the drama with me when me, me and you, we ain't even the problem? The problem is Shanice. The problem is you picked up your phone and you called here. That's the problem. Okay. What you got to do, do? You ain't got no couch. You ain't got no mattress. Now you got to do that. You understand what I'm saying? You know what? I, I see I can't talk to you. When does Shanice get home, man? Don't worry about when Shanice get home. Okay. What you need to worry about is when I find you. Okay, so, so when, when, I, when you going to have my money in when you find me? Because I need my money. Hey, I'm going to have your, your mattress, too. Please understand. You're going to be resting real well. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, 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 so let me ask you this here, man. So... Uh, Shanice bring bed bugs over to my house, leave them all in my mattress, leave them all on my couch where I gotta throw my stuff away. Where I'm wrong at, man? Where I'm wrong? I'm gonna ask you straight up. Did you know she had a man? Say what? Did you know she had a man? But, I, I mean, kinda, kinda, sorta, but not really, though. No kind of sort of man. Either you know she got a man or she don't got a man. You knew she had a man, right? And you still went and did it, right? Hey, dog, I ain't got nothing to do with y'all, man. I, I, I'm dealing with these bed bugs. You understand what I'm saying? Dude, do you understand you messing up a, a four-year relationship? You know how much time I put in with this woman? Four hey, years. Hey. Four years, we about, to get, we about to get married. And you calling here with this when are y'all supposed to get married? Don't worry about when we supposed to get married, man. You messed that all up. What I'm trying to explain to you is, dude, you calling here on some big 
which I know she ain't got nothing to do with, but the fact that you told me that she was over your house, in your bed, that's over. It's over now. You understand what I'm saying? Now, when she get home, I'm going to deal with that. You understand what I'm saying? That's going to get dealt with. I'm walking up out of here. But when I leave here, please believe my next stop is to come find your And me and you, we're going to handle it like some grown men. Man, I'm just trying to get the, I'm just, dude, you're not getting no money. I'm just trying to get a man. You got to follow you up follow with her. You ain't getting no money from me. First of all, how do you get the number to this apartment? That's what I want to know. Hey, dude, she gave me both numbers, the cell phone number and the house number, and told me, you know, if it's an emergency, call the house. Okay, and this is an emergency. Yeah, this is an emergency. I what, got what, bad what, bugs, what, man. What, learn, learn another emergency number. Learn 911, because when I come knocking on your door, if you come out and you handle it, oh, you better call the cops. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? <sighs> hey, man, do you think Tommy will pay for the bad bugs? Who is Tommy? I'm just saying, do you think Tommy will pay for the bad bugs? Hey, who the f is Tommy? Tommy, dog. Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Ernest, you just got pranked by your girl, Shanice. <laughs> Man. Y'all, y'all. You all right? Woo! Boy, hey. Boy, it was over. It was over. You understand what I'm telling you? It was over. You hear me, man? I was out. <laughs> Your uncle right, man. Somebody gonna f you up, and he ain't gonna be there to pull them off. You understand what I'm saying? How <laughs> oh, wrong, man? <laughs> I gotta ask you this before you go. <laughs> Hello. Hello, I'm trying to reach. Uh, is it Gordon? Right, it's Gordon. How you doing, Mr. Gordon? Uh, Justin, my name Hello, is. Uh, let me let me uh, turn down the TV. Are you calling about the apartment? Yes, yes. I was trying to see about uh, maybe coming over to take a look at it or, and, and seeing uh, if it's still available. Man, I got a newspaper, but I didn't know if this still available or what. No, no, no. It's still for rent. Um, let me be uh, straight with you. Um, uh, you know, no pets and uh, no no smoking uh, <laughs> of any kind. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I understand. Okay. From my understanding, the listing here is like eight hundred fifty dollars a month, right? right? Fifty. You got a parking spot, um, your private bathroom with a shower, um, okay. and uh, eight fifty. I'm gonna need first uh, last month, and uh, really, um, let me, well, what's your name? My name is Darnell. 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 Okay. First. Uh, so yeah, um, first last month, and uh, social security number. I can do a background check. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Now, uh, let me ask you this. You guys got, uh, like, a back backyard area? I, I teach classes in the mornings, and I want to know if you have that. That That's pretty much what will, will kind of lock me in if you got a, if you guys got a backyard that I can use. Oh, we got a backyard. What, what do you teach? I teach yoga. I teach yoga in the mornings from uh, from 6 to 8. Hopefully that won't be a problem. You make, you make money doing yoga? Yes, sir. I definitely do. I make enough definitely to cover the rent, that's for sure. That shouldn't be a problem. I know, I know a little bit about yoga. That's that. I mean, really, if y'all, you know, you're not making no noise. That yoga, that, that's not a problem. A good deal. Well, how quick can I actually get moved in? I mean, I'm trying to get settled. I just moved in from the uh, from the East Coast. I jumped on my yoga pretty quick and got a, quite a bit of clientele built up. And um, you know, I'm just just ready to get started, get moved in, man. Some, something that I can actually call home, you know. Uh, yeah, well, you know, we're looking to rent rent it out pretty quick, um, you know, because we want to try and get it filled as soon as possible. Cause it's you said we, are you, are you, you got a roommate, you're, you're, are you married? No, it's just me, it's, it, it would be me and my wife, and uh, we, it's a three-bedroom home, you would have the room in the back with the bathroom, and uh, right. yeah, like right. at 50 you do a credit check, right. and uh, you know, right. since we meet, um, I can do the background check, and uh, uh, no, 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 that background check, what, 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 what do you necessarily need to do that for? Well, you got to know who you're into, and you want to know what the credit they got, so if they can afford to rent or not. You know, I got, I got, I got real good credit, man. My credit is fine. I'm, not, I'm actually yeah. in the eight hundreds on my on my credit scores. Oh damn! All right. When you get here, is well, how you fill out application. But uh, right. you know, if, you, if you're ready to get it cracking, I can do I can do a background check, and you right now just give me your uh, social security number. Okay, but let me let me go ahead and just do this, man, on that background check, because you know that what I, what I want to say about that is this: it might be something on there about like and when I was on the East Coast, you know, I was actually teaching uh, naked yoga. You know what I mean? Naked yoga. Uh, you know, you might see something on there about me being a, a, a nipple. Oh, man. naked yoga. Yeah, well, see, that's what that's the kind of yoga I was teaching on the East Coast was naked yoga. You know what I'm saying? And, and everybody was teaching naked yoga here. Well, but see, it's in the backyard. It's closed in. You know, in no, my backyard. Like, 
And you, what, what, what other glitch you got? You said there's some glitches, Michael. Well, what other glitch you got? Well, you might see that I, I, I'm a nymphomaniac, but see, they, but see, I didn't took some, I didn't took classes. Nympho what? I, I didn't took counseling for that though. So, no, know, yeah. well, you need to take some counseling over somewhere else. You ain't taking no counseling and doing no uh, naked yoga in my backyard. No, but see, man, all that's behind me now. That's on the East Coast, man. That, that, that's, that's all behind me now. I didn't, I didn't put that thing down. Man, I don't care if it's behind you, in front of you, on the side. You're doing some <laughs> naked yoga in my backyard. That ain't happening, man. Matter of hey, fact, man. Hey, man, man, listen. Scratch my I got all the credentials that qualify to move in there, and now you're going to sit here and tell me I can't. Okay. You're talking about doing some naked yoga in my <laughs> backyard with no 20, 30 people? Then my wife be at home, man. You, look. Well, you ought to bring your wife You know what, Darnell? It's all good. Let her get naked and do some yoga in, man. Right, man. Just scratch that one off your list and just move on to the next one because there ain't no naked yoga going down back here with no nymphomaniac. I don't know what else y'all might be doing. I don't know what. You know, I don't know who does Trump, naked man. yoga. We are, we, it's, just, it's, just a, it's just a serene moment, man, where you find yourself. That's all this really is about. Well, you better find yourself somewhere. No, that's what I know. You ain't doing no next yoga in my backyard. I'm surprised you even called somebody with that. Hey, man, I'm going to come over there to this address and start looking at this place because I want to set up shop right here. In my backyard, and I don't even know you. Talking about you got some glitches in your past. You going to have a foot in your. How do you know that this isn't something that your wife might really want to get into? But my wife. Don't even mention my wife's name, man. You don't know me. You don't even know my wife. Take my off your list. You come out here, you going to have another glitch. I'm coming out there. You know what, Darnell? You look at this damn room, and you gonna show it to me. I ain't showing you. You come, come out here, and I'm gonna show you something else. My back. I am, I am a, I am a recovered nymphomaniac. I'm recovered. I'm gonna have a recovered nymphomaniac. You about to get your with a biomaniac. I'm the maniac. Please believe, Darnell. I'm gonna come over no, there right now. I'm gonna come over there now, man, so we can sit with this. I ain't having that. Do not hey, man, listen, listen, please, man, please. I'm gonna come over there. Please, please. just my life. Like, man, look, this, you can do whatever you want somewhere else, but this right here, this ain't the place for you. I'm gonna tell you that right now, Darnell. Talk to your wife, man. Whatever it is you want to pull, whatever it is you want to talk about, this ain't the place for you. Go somewhere else. Take that. Please, 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 over here, Darnell. So, so as far as I'm wise, man, this right here, your wife. this right here is over for real. You gonna come out here and catch a case? Okay, can I can I say one more thing to you, no, man? You can't say Darnell because this, I, this conversation's over, man. Okay, how about that? Say, hey, man, can I say one more thing, man? What you got to Hello? say, man? This is, what? This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your brother. <laughs> oh, get the. F out of here, man. This is nephew Tommy. Who, who, who told you to do this to me, man? <laughs> Your brother. My brother. Oh, I'm gonna get this. Oh my God, man. My heart is all beating all fast, man. My. Oh, get the out of here, man. Talk, man. Oh, you all right, man. Man, I was gonna whoop your butt naked. If you came around here, man, you just don't know. Man, I'm so glad this. Is joke. You have no idea. I'm so glad it's a joke, man. Hello, who's this? This plane doesn't exist. This Benji. I'm, I'm calling. Is, is, is Miss Purvis there? Um, no, she's not here right now, but this is my daughter. Um, is there a problem? Uh, no, this, this, this Benji. This mama, uh, mama Lois nephew. Who, who is this again? This Belinda. Uh, Mama Lois, Mama Lois, y'all ain't, ain't it? Correct. Mama Lois and it's sister. Okay, I'm Benji. I'm, I'm, I'm her nephew from the other side of the family. You say your name what now? Belinda. Okay, what time y'all supposed to get in? Uh, we should be there by the afternoon. Okay, uh, is, is Miss Purvis, is, she, is, is your mama making the, 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 the dressing? Yeah, she's making enough for about 45 people. Um, actually, um, this was discussed about a month ago. Right, y'all on the, y'all, they had the, um... The conference call. The conference, the family had the conference call, right? Yes, sir. Okay, now, listen, what, what, the reason why they, they got me to call, they wanted me to go in and call, and, and I was trying to get Miss Purvis, you, she not there? No, she's not here. What's wrong? Oh, uh, okay. They not going they not gonna need her to do the um to do the dress. And why wouldn't they need her to do the dress? She been making it for ten years. We did we just discussed this, so what do you mean? They they say that they got somebody down here that's gonna do the dress, especially since 
since y'all traveling, y'all ain't got to bring it, you know, uh, and be traveling with it, but they got somebody going to do the dress. Okay. Well, first of all, who are you? You're, you're Benji? What is your name? That was not my name, Benjamin, but they call me Benji. But, 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 uh, uh, like I say, uh, I'm on the other side of the I ain't on y'all side. Okay, well, I'm still trying to figure out why are you calling me? Because you've been making a dress for 10 years, like I said. And, I mean, it's been discussed for long, you know, why, why you're calling me. I don't even know you. Uh, okay, well, what I'm trying to explain to you just right here is that they got so y'all you know, ain't got to worry with bringing the dress and they got somebody going to bring, they got somebody down here that's going to cook it. So, in other words, you know, you, you, you can tell Miss Purvis she ain't got to worry about that for her. So, I mean, I don't, I don't even know who you are to be calling me anyway. Why is not somebody calling me that I know regarding this? Okay, okay. You Glenda, right? I am Glenda. Uh, all right, listen. Let me let me say this because, you know, I guess that's because I, I don't mind saying what, 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 what everybody thinking, but, but most people don't want to say. Let me just say this right here. Really what's going on is this right here. A lot of people in the family, you know, don't really, don't, 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 don't really like Miss Purvis' dress. <laughs> Benji, Benjamin, whoever the f*** are you supposed to be? Let me explain something to you. My mama gonna make this dressing, you gonna keep that and we ain't bringing that home with us. So you can tell your family that I said that. You understand what, do you understand me? No, I, I, I mean, I, I, First of all, you got to understand that I'm bringing news that, that, that people that done voted on, and this what everybody want to do. Don't nobody. Well, well, why didn't they call? We had a meeting. Put them on that dressing. She been making it ten years. Ain't nobody been saying nothing. And guess what? When I'm up in that house, nobody better not be walking up and through there talking about my mama either. And y'all go eat the. Okay, but see right there. Why? Why? If people don't like the dressing, Glenda, why do you want to make sure submit everybody to have it to eat it? If they don't like it. You know, that's all I know. I ain't no you are calling me no Well, I don't know no Benjamin, B-N-G, whoever the hell you are. I'm Mama Lord's nephew from the other side of the family. Exactly. I don't know you. Okay, and, and, and really, really, to, to bad all that, I don't really know you. But I'm, but, but I'm, but I'm mad enough, I'm mad enough to call you and tell you what we gonna do and what we ain't gonna do. Well, I know what I ain't. I done said it once and I repeat it again. She gonna make that dressing, you gonna eat it, and we gonna go all by our day. Okay, okay, right there. Listen, and I know this might be hard for you to understand. What you grew up with liking, everybody else might not like. You, you can say what you want to. I don't even remember your being in my way. So you might not like it because you ain't been around, but she making dresses. No. First of all, when y'all get down here, there's going to already be some more dressing here. Okay, okay. And she going to make her dressing, and we going to sit the down, and y'all going to eat that and it's, 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 it's not even going to be discussed no further than that. I said, what I got to say, because you're not going to hurt my mama's feelings. Okay, there ain't nobody trying, that's why I'm trying to tell you to tell her don't make it now, so she don't even bring it down. We, we make it when we get there anyway. Hey, look, I'm finna say this here, because evidently you ain't really understanding what I'm saying to you. I'm going to say it as clear as I can say it. If y'all come down here with that dress, I promise you, we already got dressing made. We throwing that dressing in the trash so everybody can get the dressing that we made for them. Point blank. That's what we doing. Please, let me explain something to you. I'm going to be on dressing patrol. And if I find out you that threw my mama dressing in the trash, it's going to be some and we're going to set that off. I'm not playing with you. This was too funny to me. Uncle Carl and Kim, we were all in this I'm just calling. Ain't none of them bald enough to call us and tell us to do it. But now they're going to set your stupid up calling me. I don't even know the f. You don't know the I guess they felt like you was the f. I don't like you the baddest in the world. But being a bitch, you know what the f you are? I don't even know your rabbit. I'm telling you now. I'm not playing with you. I'm telling you. Anybody hurt my mama feeling, it's going to be some in there. And I'm telling you, all y'all going to be Y'all full of down now. But I'm coming. Y'all out one. Can I say something else to you? I wish you would. Can I tell you what else they were saying? I, what? They wanted me to tell you this, Glenda. This 
is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your cousin Sheila got me to prank phone call you. <laughs> Tommy? You about to make me sick. Oh, what? <laughs> baby, this thing get on feeling for the big enough here, baby. Because I was going to have my brother's what? Ninja. <laughs> Y'all play too much. Y'all play too much. <laughs> See, I play too much. Oh, my God. I, 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 I,
trying to reach a Melvin Colbert, please. Yeah, this is Melvin. Uh, Mr. Melvin, how are you? My name is uh, Tim. I'm with the um, Child Support Services, and I wanted to give you a call. Going through the records that we have, I wanted to follow up on some things. We're noticing here that your son, Melvin Jr., is going to be turning um, 18 here pretty soon, but looking at our records, it indicates that you were doing pretty well with child support for 17, maybe, well, 16, 16 years. Uh, it just seems like well, here within the last year, you seem to have fallen off. Seems like we haven't gotten a payment from you within the last year. I'm looking, I'm dating it back now. It looks like 06 of. Oh, um, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Like January of 06? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Now, you said uh, for 16 years, my son will be 18 in three months. Right, I know so, that's what we're saying. It seems like he's approaching eighteen, sir. But it's, within the last twelve months, twelve thirteen months, sir, we haven't really, we haven't really gotten a payment here from you as far as child support is concerned. Wait a minute, hold on now. What you mean you ain't got no payment? They take it out of my check. They take money out of my check every week, every paycheck. Twice that, that's twice a month. They take money out of my check, and they've been taking money out of my check. Uh, so sir, you need wait a minute. You need to look in that computer again. Look, look in there again. Sir, I'm, I'm, um, I've gone through the records over and over. I've, I actually thoroughly check before I give people a phone call. I'm, I'm, sir, I'm, I'm, I'm almost 99.9% sure this is dated back 13 months here. You've been paying right at $750 a month. Am I right? Yes, that's right. And they break it up over over a four week period, and and you get paid weekly. So they've been taking they've been it out. Three hundred every two weeks. They've been taking three hundred seventy five dollars out of my check. Right. So, no, something wrong. Uh-uh. No, they've been taking it. I know they've been taking it out of my check. Well, sir, I, I I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but what happens when, when situations get to this point, this is what takes place. Uh, even though the child is turning 18, what they're going to do, sir, is now extend child support until the child reaches 21, which is another three years now. Uh, oh, no, no. Oh, hell no. Hell the fuck no. No, they've been taking... Three hundred and seventy-five dollars on my check twice a goddamn month. So I'm not now. You know, extending nothing. My court order say when my son turned eighteen in three months, three months from tomorrow, that damn child support gonna get cut off. Ain't no extending to no goddamn twenty-one. Sir, sir, now, now sir. I take care of my son. Now, 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 you listen to me. Some 
y'all y'all got me fucked up. I take care of my son, and they take it out of my check. Sir, I wait a minute, sir. What I'm saying is it's, it's not in the computer. We don't have any listings of it. It hasn't been done within the last 13 months. That's when, when it comes to a situation like this, we extend it to nah, three, to, 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 to the child is 20. To three, to, to, to the child is 20. No, shit, you ain't extending shit nothing on, on me. 18, y'all ain't got, uh, uh, shit. But baby, they, they talking about I ain't paid. I got the goddamn check stubs where they been taken out of my check. Now, how come y'all don't have the goddamn records of the shit? Sir, do you have Huh? Baby, where my check stubs? Where the check stubs at? Huh? Huh? Then, then I got a box where I keep the goddamn check stubs at. Do you have if every you check stub, up, sir, going back? Every goddamn, you damn right I got every goddamn check stub. And I got the other damn receipts, everything I bought for the motherfucker. Well, excuse me, I don't mean to talk about my son like that, but, 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 but shit, you, no, hell no. Yo, wh wh where's your goddamn supervisor at? Sir, I, I, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the actual manager here. I'm the one that makes the phone call, sir. We've gone through these records over and over, trying to make sure that we were definitely clear on it before we give a... A, a, um, a, a personal call about a situation like this. I, I, oh no, that's bullshit, man. That's but no, no, you no, that's that's some bullshit. Sir, I said, sir, what? I don't want to be a bearer of bad news. No, you, but, but, but don't, but don't call me with this bullshit. You don't want me to be, to be no bearer. Don't sir, call me with this you will bullshit. be paying this amount until the child is twenty-one. Oh, that's bullshit. I bet you, you wait till my son turns goddamn 18. I bet you one motherfucking thing, y'all ain't taking shit out of my goddamn check, no 21 in my ass. Sir, let me, t let, sir, what I'm not going to do is have you, uh, I'm not going to go back and forth with you, okay? Now, you're going to pay 21 until he's 21, or the, the worst scenario is you're going to jail. Well, mister, let me tell you one thing. Let me tell you one thing. You listen to me damn good. Now, I know what the hell they've been taking out of my check twice a goddamn month. Do you hear me? I know what they've been taking out because I know what I've been bringing home. Well, sir, uh, is there a possibility? Yeah, is that right? And look, here, let me tell you this here. I'll, be, I'll tell you what. When my son gets 18, ain't no more shit coming out of my check. Y'all can pay the shit to 21 if you want to. Y'all can care. I've been taking care of it. Y'all can pay that shit when they 21. Shit, that, hell no. Are you having so problems? You are you having problems giving money to your son to support him, sir? What the fuck you talking about? Y'all got no problem taking the shit out of my dick. I take care of my son. Good. I take care of him good. Get him a haircut every week. Buying them damn tennis shoes. Still get it. I ain't no problem paying with my son. I take care of my son. I take care of what's mine. And that's what I've been doing. For the past damn near 18 years, come three months from tomorrow. That's what I've been doing. So I tell you what, I'm going to still take care of my damn son afterwards. But it ain't coming out of my check to y'all shit. I'm going to take care of my own because I don't need y'all in my goddamn. I need a white folks in my kid to make me take care of my damn son. So goddamn, when 18 come, I bet you one goddamn thing in three months on that fourth goddamn month, nothing better not come out of my goddamn check. I sir, bet you that shit. Sir, we're gonna, you, you, it's gonna go until the child is 21. Oh, don't tell me calm down now. These, I'm gonna get these motherfuckers straight calling me with this shit. I've been and we're gonna get out. you straight. We're gonna get you straight. You're gonna pay until he's 21 because you were negligent for the last 13 months. You were. Who the fuck, who the fuck you think you talking to, you ignorant son of a bitch, you? What's your goddamn name? No, baby, this motherfucker come telling me. Shit, you lost your goddamn mind. My name is Tim Phillips, and I'm with the Child Support Services. You have been negligent for 13 months, and you're going to pay. You're going to pay until... I've been doing right, baby. This motherfucker hollering at me on my goddamn phone talking about I ain't goddamn pay. Now, let me tell you something. Let me tell you one goddamn thing. Come three months, I'm going to pay it. I'm going to pay it for three months. But after three months over with... I ain't giving y'all or his mama another goddamn thing. But I give it to my son. But that wench, that wench, that dirty, filthy, ignorant wench ain't getting another goddamn penny out of me. So now, not, not a dime. And you, you better say it. Who is, who, who is that back there? That's my gal. That's my gal. But you heard what I said, right? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you what I said. Oh. Huh? You, so you got that. So you go and tell her that shit. You go and tell whoever the goddamn attorney general is over the U.S. You tell his ass that shit. I'm listening. You better not come out my motherfucking check. I'm looking for your motherfucking ass.
You but looking... I know what the fuck I've been doing, so you know what? You can kiss my motherfucking black ass come three motherfucking months. I'm telling you that shit to your motherfucking face. Shit, right goddamn now, and I tell you, you got Well, let me say something in your face. Is you listening? What the fuck you got to say, man? This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your boy Stan Spillers. Oh, shit. Motherfucker. Wait a goddamn minute. Man, you motherfucker. Melvin, you all right, man? I'm gonna load my goddamn gun up. <laughs> I'm coming to get your ass, motherfucker, talking shit. Who the fuck put you up to this shit, man? Your boy Stan. I guess he works. Do Stan work with you? Yeah, that motherfucker work for me. <laughs> Forklift driving son of a bitch. I tell you what, though. <laughs> I'm gonna take the brakes off that goddamn fork in the morning. That motherfucker, he gonna run into some shit. I bet you that. Okay. I bet you that. Man, y'all cold in a motherfucker, man. Let me ask you something, Mr. Mel. What is what, the man? baddest radio show in the world? Man, y'all some crazy son of bitches, man. The Steve Harvey morning show. That's the baddest. Man, y'all niggas cold, man. Y'all cold, man. That... Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach uh, Mr. Phillips, please. Yeah, this is Mr. Phillips. Uh, Mr. Phillips, listen, this is Coach Reynolds over at the high school. How you doing today? Well, I'm going to how I can help you. Well, I, I know uh, your son is over at the high school. Yeah, Junior, he over there, he's starting. Right, right, right. Well, I was calling to uh, see if you might be interested in um, maybe coming over to the high school and maybe taking a look at the campus. I think we'll probably like uh, uh a lot better than what, uh, what, what's going on over at Uh, well, uh, that boy, you know, he already got his, uh, I don't know if I'm going to do that. You know, he already got his stuff together over there. He got his books. He's doing well in school over there. They got him starting this year, you know. He black like, year vote. He played junior varsity. I don't, I don't, I don't think we're going to be able to do that, sir. I don't, I don't think that's going to be right for him to do. So, uh, he's going to have to stay where he is. He all right where he is. Well, now, like I said, now, Alan is going to give you a better education. And you're probably going to have more opportunities on getting a scholarship coming out of We got quite a few scouts to come out from different colleges and things like that. So I, I'm, I'm going to make sure he gets a good look, and I'll make sure that... Uh, well, hold, hold on. Well, how, how, how did you get my number? That's all I want to know. How did you how did you find this number here? Uh, well, sir, yeah, we pretty much have a uh, telephone listing of, of most of the kids that play ball, play ball here in uh and whole city, so you know you can pretty much reach out and get your hands on them if you need to talk to them. No, uh, well, I, no, I, I, no I, I, I don't. You don't need to put your hands on nothing over I'm here. I'm sorry. Uh, Junior doing fine way yet. I, I, I either the grades is up, you doing good, and uh, we got letters, we get letters, you know, all the time. A few scouts are calling all the time, but you know, I you can't, I can't be, I can't get caught up in no mess. You know, that that mess. I can't. He done made his commitment, and he's doing his thing, and then uh, uh, you you call me and talking about changing the school. I don't even know, I don't even know you, sir. So I appreciate if you know you're not leaving my boy alone. I'm the head know. coach. I'm the head, I'm Coach Reynolds, sir. Head coach over at. Uh... Uh, like I said, I've got quite a few scouts. I, I, wouldn't, give, I wouldn't call me. I wouldn't give a damn if you was fit to shit. You, 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 my son is fine where he at. So you leave my son alone, and and I appreciate it, sir. I thank you for your time. But you know this is uh you know this got to be against some type of violation for you and having this conversation. Hey, you, let me you, ask you this: uh, Have you seen the uh, new Lexus that they got out there? Yeah, I, I've seen the new Lexus. Well, what what I, I mean, what they got to do with anything? You probably look pretty good on those, won't you? What? I, I, said, uh, I, look you, good, I, I don't understand your question, sir. I, you, you lost me. What are you saying? I said, you, 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 have you seen those new Lexuses? Well, you, you probably look good on one of those, don't you think? Yeah, well, yeah, well, uh, they, they nice. Yeah. They nice. Yeah. And then, Mr. Phil, you, 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 you uh, I, I'm sorry, but are you married? Yeah, well, I, I, I've been, uh, I've been married for uh, almost 17 years now. Uh, Mama, we've been together 17 years, so what? What you, what you talking about, my wife now? This is, this, listen, man, I, I don't, listen, you leave my family alone. My son is fine playing ball where he is. He uh, doing fine over there, and uh, he been doing all right. And, and, and we just going to let things be where they are, you know, to be where they at, you know. And I don't, you know, I don't understand. I, 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 I was asking about your wife. I mean, it'd be nice to take her on a nice trip or something, you know, something else. Uh, you know, you, you know, hell, now you're taking my wife on a damn trip. What the hell wrong with you? Uh, I'm sorry? Listen, man, let me tell you. 
time. You stay the hell away from my kids and my wife. You leave my wife alone. Ain't nothing, ain't nobody bother. We ain't bother nobody over there. Right. Well, I, I'm saying I got a couple tickets, so why? That probably I, I, I don't listen, listen, man. Hey, hey, I'm gonna have a ticket to put my foot in your. Ass. You keep talking about my wife and my son. Now you leave my son, and my wife uh, alone. You stop and don't call, don't call this number no more. Cause this, this, I don't, I don't know what the hell, who the hell, uh, uh, where you, where you coaching at? I wouldn't care if you was uh, Coach K for Duke. It, it don't matter. And leave, you leave my son alone, and you leave my wife out of this, and we are not interested in the offer that you have on the table. All right, all right. Well, uh, it's it, 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 Tom, and can I speak with him? Hell no, you can't talk to him. You talk to the senior right now, and then that's all you need to talk to. You leave my son alone. That dream ain't about nobody. That boy ain't 17 years old. He ain't going to talk to nobody. He ain't got to talk to you about. Well, he's not an age. I think he's probably going to make his own decisions, don't you think? Are you in 11th grade? Are you a girl? Then you don't need to talk to him. I said, is that said what? Is that a point he ought to be to make his own decisions, don't you think? No, I'm making all the decisions for him. Between me and the Lord, we got everything covered. Okay. We don't need no help doing nothing. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go by the school and talk to myself. I'm going to tell you what, and I'm going to come out of school and park my foot dead in your Now, you run your up to the school if you want to, but tell you what, meet me at the school then. You just meet me at the school. Meet me right there in the back by the locker room, and I'm going to show you who's going to play football for you. Next semester. Okay. If you, okay. I tell you one thing, you ain't going to mess with my son. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm, you better get that out your mind. You ain't going to be messing with my son. Sir, sir I'm not going to go back and forth with you. If you sound like he wants to do it, I'll come by and pick him up every morning and get him off the I'm going to tell you what, I'm, like I said before, meet me at the school then. I'm going to show you who's going to play football. I'm going to be football on, all on the back of your son. You leave my son alone. So I'm going to be bothering you. I'm going to be bothering you. And instead of him to go to no damn I ain't going to sit him over there I ain't finna let him have it. He ain't fine where he at. He got plenty of offers right where he is. Sir, I got one more thing I need to tell you. Are you listening? Well, what, what you mean? What you need to tell me? What you need to tell me? Because I'm going to tell you what you ain't going to do. You ain't going to bother my son. And my son doing fine. Hell, I ain't, I ain't. You ain't finna tell me. What you got to say to me? I want to tell you this. This is next time from the school hall in the morning. So your wife, I need to prank phone call you. Oh, man. <laughs> She should invite uh, her sister. I'm sure your sister. I, I was just saying you probably haven't been able to get out since the baby, and maybe you would want to get out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you said that. I've been trapped in this house with this baby. Oh, and he. Oh, you're such a greedy baby. But uh, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'm here a lot. This is like my second child, and I'm telling you, he was nothing like the first one. But I haven't been out. When is the party? Uh, it's going to be next week. Next Friday, we're going to throw it, and uh, we're not trying to do anything too late, probably around 6 o'clock. Everybody's going to leave work a little early, but we're going to all bring a little something to uh, contribute to the party, you know, whatever type of food or drinks or whatever. So we just wanted to reach out and give you an invitation. Uh, I just need to see if I can get a babysitter. I haven't had to use a babysitter yet, but... I'll, I'll try. I'll do my best for me. It's my sister and her friend, so I'd be glad to come. So you said it's, it's potluck. What, what are y'all bringing? 
Well, some people are bringing finger food. Okay. Some people are bringing uh, desserts, uh, nachos, and things like okay. that. So I guess a little bit of everything. And uh, everybody's just in the Christmas spirit. We're just going to have a good time. Well, uh, do I need to cook it myself, or can I just order something, have it delivered, or something like that? It, you know, I'm fooling with this baby. I can't get too much done while I'm here. But I'll be glad to contribute. Uh, well, actually, we're, we're interested in getting some eggnog. Uh, yeah, I could probably, I could send my husband out to get some, because, you know, there's this, school, there's this specialty shop, they make some good homemade eggnog. I could do eggnog. Well, well, hang on. We didn't, we didn't want anything from a specialty shop. We're real particular about uh, having good eggnog. We've always had good eggnog every year when we throw the big potluck Christmas party. We wanted to see if you didn't mind making some eggnog from scratch. But you know, if you if you could really really help us out, uh, you know, you using using uh, breast milk to do it. Well, they make the best milk over there. I know they use whole milk. Sometimes they use that buttercream milk. You know what? I should get my aunt to make it because she got a real good recipe, and I know she uses the best milk there is. I can get her to make okay. some. Is that okay? Okay, so you, 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 your mom has what kind of milk? My auntie, she makes the best eggnog, and I know she uses, like, whole milk and buttermilk and stuff. That's what I was thinking. I don't know if Kiva told you, but she no, makes No, 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 no. We want some breast milk. Not the best milk. We want breasts. Aren't you breastfeeding? You you say breast as in B R E A S T breast milk? Breast milk, yes, yes. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm breastfeeding, but breast milk is for babies. Adult people don't supposed to drink that if you if you not know anything, you're not supposed to breast drink milk. milk. Breast milk is the best milk. See, so what we was trying to do is get get the uh eggnog made with breast milk and that's what wait we want. A Brian, you said your name is Brian? Yes, I'm Brian. Okay, Brian, you must be white because cause black folks don't drink breast milk. That's for babies, okay? I am not making eggnog with breast milk. Now, breast milk is not what you get. That is for my newborn infant. That sounds nasty, unsterile. Why would I do that to other people? What kind of I, is that to ask somebody to do? I mean, is there a way you can, like, pump out two gallons for us? I mean, we you just... You know what? We about to end this conversation. That is not something I'm about to do, okay? I am not pumping milk for some Christmas party. that. That is nasty, okay? Somebody gonna call the health department on y'all bringing up milk up there to make some eggnog. What the does that? We don't do that. This ain't no feed a village with my milk. You you know what? Ma'am, ma'am, I, 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 I mean, I, 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 didn't, I wasn't trying to offend you. I just wanted to see if it, if it was something that you would do for us. You know, if maybe you could you could squeeze out a couple of gallons and we could. Uh... I'm past offended. I ain't squeezing out a tablespoon of breast milk to be donating to some Christmas party. Y'all don't do that. 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 Cause she couldn't have, she couldn't have known you were gonna ask me to make some damn eggnog with real breast milk. Well, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't tell Keith exactly what I wanted, but I didn't think it was gonna be this much of a of a problem that you would be have a problem with a couple gallons so we could have a good time with real good milk. Uh, Hope Brian, y'all work in corporate America. Surely you are smarter than that to be, be calling somebody asking for some breast milk. Who does that? What you can do if you want some eggnog, you can stop at the grocery store and get you some Infamil or some Similac and make some eggnog yourself if that's what you choose to do but my breast milk you can't even pay for it okay i don't get down like that that's some if i ever heard of it you too intelligent be calling around asking people for milk who the does that so you're gonna be this selfish that you can't loan us a little bit of breast milk so we can have a great time with some eggnog at the party selfish loan who loans that breast milk Okay, you know what? You know what, Cassandra? Don't worry about it. We don't even want you at the party. If you ain't gonna bring the breast milk, then don't come to the party. Damn right. I don't need to come to your funky party. And you tell Kiva, this is some to even have her friend call me. I am, I am the party coordinator, and Kiva knows that. That's And I, I tried to be nice enough to invite I, you. I'm offended. I am offended, okay? Would you ask your wife or your girlfriend or whoever your baby mom is to do some like that? Would you expect somebody to ask her? You disrespecting me asking me for some like that. Okay, uh, uh, I know. you know what? Brian, what is your last name? Because I'm, I'm failing to remember who you are, because I'm sure going to ask. Keep well, well, Brian, Brian, Brian ain't really my name. I didn't really want to tell you my real name. Oh.
So, so you playing on the phone then? You you probably don't even know my sister. No. Who is this? I mean, I I talked to your sister uh, about 20 minutes ago. I talked to Keith. You ain't talked to my Keeva because this is a I know that too clearly. Okay, but I want to go and tell you this you, here. You know what? You're going to get off my damn phone. That's what you going to do. Keeva told me to call because, see, I am nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show, and your sister Keeva got me to prank phone call you. <laughs> You're talking about that nephew Thomas on the TV and the radio. <laughs> 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 oh, the daddy. Oh, the daddy. I had no idea. Hello? Hello, I'm, I'm trying to reach our uh, 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 brother Adrian. This is he. Brother Adrian, how you doing? This is Deacon Patterson calling. Uh, how you doing, Deacon Patterson? How you doing? I'm calling from the church. and I know it's New Year's Eve, and I wanted to give you a call and let you know that we're calling a lot of people from the church. And I, what I want to do is call you and tell you that it, it put it on my heart to, to, to call your phone number. Uh-huh. And I ask you to, that, that if you don't mind to be in the presence of the church tonight and come down here and be with us as we bring in the new year. Oh, uh, well, thanks for calling, but I'm, I'm not going to be able to make it there tonight. I have other plans with my family. Uh, I have a lot of people coming over to the house today. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait just a minute. Now, now, now you're saying you're not going to be able to make it to the church? Uh, not this evening. No, I won't be able to make it this evening. But well, I will be there. Let me ask you something, Brother Adrian. Let me ask you this here. Mm-hmm. Are you looking for a, a victory in 2010? Oh, absolutely. Now, are you looking to be blessed in 2010? Yes, I am. Now, do you want 2010 to be better than 2009? I think we all do. Exactly. Now, 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 but, but you would think that if you want 2010 to be better than what 2009 was, mm-hmm. then it seemed like what you would do was be in the house tonight so you can accept what God has got for you? I, I mean, I would love to be there tonight, but I have family coming over. Uh, every year we do a gathering at different family members' houses, and since this is my first year in my new house, my family decided we planned this last year. All the family's going to be so here. So you got a new house. We just moved you in. You got here. a new house, and you don't want to come down to the church and be thankful for what you got. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm very thankful. I'm in church, me and my wife, every Sunday. Um, we were there this past Christmas giving out dinners and everything. So I'm thankful. I'm thankful, and I'm going to be there this Sunday. But you don't want to be thankful tonight as we come in and, and bring in 2010. Do you realize that there's some people that's not going to make it to 2010? Do you realize that? I do realize that. I do realize that. God bless them. But I have plans tonight. Okay, so let, 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 let me ask you this. So what you're saying is, you, 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 I won't, I'm be, able, I won't be able to come. Me. I won't be able to be there tonight. So it's, it's probably going to be a lot of people at your house. Yes, my whole family's going to be here. I got people coming in the airport in the next 30 minutes that I got to go pick up. Is plenty of food going to be there, right? That's right. Plenty of music going to be there. Right. And plenty of drinking going to be there. <laughs> There will be a little libation in the house. Yes, there will, but that has nothing so to do with that. So what you're saying is Hennessy and, 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 and Cavalier and, and, and Crown and Gin that make Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, and, hold on, hold on. And now, let's, let's, let's bring it back. All of those things are better than you coming to the house and bringing in 2010. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is I have family member coming to my house. Well, why don't you bring the family to the church? That's that's not going to work. Uh, how can it not work? Is it not enough cause? Do you do you need us to pick up some people? How no, come no, it won't no. Work no that we can't get up. y'all to the church this evening. I don't need you to pick up anybody. That's fine. I just my family's going to be at my house. I got. And I understand that. People come in town. Family can not... be at your house after y'all leave. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Can you? I mean, don't don't yell at me, please. I mean. Let's, let's bring the volume down a little bit, all right? I'm trying to tell you that if you're in the church tonight, it's going to be far greater than yeah. what you're doing at your home. And, I, and you you blessed to have a new home. Now, now look, Deacon, what did you, you say your name was again? Deacon Patterson. Deacon Patterson, Deacon Patterson. Have we ever met? Do I mean? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think we met. But what I'm telling you is that that that, that, that we, if if, 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 I'll meet you tonight oh, if you oh, come look, tonight. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for cutting you off. I'm sorry. Look, 
I am going to be celebrating the new year with my family. I'd appreciate it if you can, if you can appreciate that. And I'll come in Sunday. But what I'd like you to do is introduce yourself to me, brother, all right? I mean, we're going to talk about this, all right? I would appreciate it if you showed up tonight with your family. I'm not going to be there. I'm sorry. I will not Why be there. Why are you make- going against being there tonight? I don't know how many words. I, 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 I just want you to explain to me. Uh, when a man robbed God, yet ye have robbed me. Where in tithe and an offering, bring all ye Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I know the Bible now, and you're not just going to be throwing Bible verses at me. Well, why is it that there seems to be a problem with you coming tonight? There is no problem other than I have other plans, okay? I, and I understand that, but you know what? There comes a time where plans got to change. There come a time where you got to look to the hills from which cometh your help and your help coming from the Lord. And you probably got a multitude of people coming to your house that need to be drugged down to the church so they can understand the vision of what's happening and get the victory of 2010. Well, we won't be there tonight. What? Excuse me. I'm trying to hold my composure. I need you to do me a big favor. I'm going to tell you like a good Christian man. I'm going to tell you. I'm, 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 I'm going to tell you like a nice Christian would tell you, sir. I will not be there tonight, Deacon. I appreciate your phone call, and I will see you. Please make it a point to introduce yourself to me. You need to get your butt down there tonight, Deacon. Thank you for calling. You well, wait just a minute. Wait thank just a minute. Calling, you Deacon. need to get yourself. Let me. Deacon? Let me okay. Let me. Let me, let me. Let me do this right now. I want you to just bow your head for me and do this for me. Let me hear you say, I want the victory in 2010. Deacon. Oh, okay. Would you just would you do it for me? Say, I want the victory in 2010. I want the victory in 2010. I want to be blessed even more than I was with my house in 2009 and 2010. I want to be blessed with even more than just my house in 2009 and 2010. Then, then, then I want you to say this. Why? Say why. Why? Because nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show told me to. Cause. <laughs> <laughs> oh, praise the Lord! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting ready to get this. <laughs> Let me go to this airport. <laughs> Hello. Hello, how you doing? This is uh pharmacy. My name is Brian. I'm the tech here. Uh, is Mr. Uh, Donovan, Donovan, is he available? Uh, no. What can I help you with? Uh, well, he, he dropped his prescription off about an hour ago. I wanted to, we wanted to call and let you guys know that the prescription is ready. Prescription for what? Uh, well, he, um, he dropped off a prescription. I'm assuming he must have, uh, it looks like the doctor just wrote this prescription today, so I'm assuming he, um, uh, Seems like he would probably need this uh, pretty soon, so I wanted to let you guys know it's ready. Okay, and what exactly did he get a prescription for? Um, uh, it's uh, amoxicillin. Amoxicillin? Amoxicillin. We've got him at least um, 15 tablets. If he could take two tablets a day. Wait, uh, uh, it's if, I'm sorry, wait, your name is Brian, right? My name is Brian, yes. I'm the technician okay. here at the pharmacy. Okay, well, let me, okay, down the f- that's my husband. Let me make sure you have the right Donovan because, well, let me, like, can we check the birthdays? Are you allowed to do that with me? Oh, uh, definitely, definitely. It's, uh, 74. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, okay. And so what exactly is the amoxicillin for? Uh, amoxicillin is an antibiotic, ma'am. So any type of, uh, small infections of, of, uh, some sort, diseases or whatever, it, it pretty much cures it. So you telling me this nasty and got something and went and got it on my first off he went and seen the doctor and got a prescription under my interest this type of and he went and got something you know what you know what that brian i'm coming down there i'll pick up the medicine i'll get it and if he wants that medicine he'll check in with me at my counter because i got a check and he done wrote that his did not cash i'm gonna beat the hell out this he do not know he does not even you know what we brought in a new okay, year uh i'm sorry i'm sorry you're you're um this what 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 can I call you by your first name? What's your name? No, call me Miss. That's fine. Just call me Miss. No, call me Miss. Okay. Uh, uh, first of all, I want to apologize. I had no idea that you were not aware of the actual mm-hmm. uh, prescription that he's that we just filled for him. Mm-hmm. You know, just just on a personal note, I'm just curious. Is, is there a possibility maybe maybe you could have given it to him? Brian, no, the you did. You done lost over my. Now, first off, you don't call my phone. First off, no. You, I'm glad you called my phone to tell me it's my insurance. That's why. And then you gonna accuse me of giving that man something? Are you scoring him? Don't you ever in your life call somebody's phone and you can call it's none of your business what's going on in my okay? None of your business. You get out of my way. That ain't none of your business. And y'all ain't got a nothing to answer your question. I got something for your and his he want to come home with STDs and you want to ask me if I gave him STDs? 
Yeah. Ma'am, I was just, I was, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to be uh, unprofessional. I was just asking a, a personal question. I should not have asked you something like that, and I, I do apologize. I, I just, should we expect someone to pick up the prescription? I, I just told you, I'm going to be picking that up. I'm going to come in there. You know what, Brian? You know who I am, because I got, I got a couple words for your and I still want to speak to your manager. You did. You were very unprofessional, and I don't appreciate you coming at me. I'm going to eat. You called me, tell me he didn't got me a STD. didn't ask me, did I give it to him? And you all up in between my No, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to get all in between your legs, ma'am. Apparently, that's not the place to be, considering you guys need a microsoft, you know? But I don't know the you did. You didn't lost your like, You know what? Never no 
Ku Klux Klan? Well, we're about to start letting black people join. Now, you won't be a fool. You won't be a fool well, member. I, I didn't hear you say no about going to be a member of no Ku Klux Klan. What's wrong with that? We're, we're starting up. A... I want to be a member of the Ku Klux Klan for. We're going to start allowing black people to join. You take Ku Klux Klan, you take 1,000 members, and you go take it somewhere else, but you're not coming up in this. I cannot believe that you're at work talking to me like this. I talk to you in the where I want to talk to you. Okay, is there a problem with us using your facility? Yes, it is a problem. Well, we have the money for it, ma'am. We don't want your money. Okay, who are you? You don't own the whole town. You take your money and your dragons and whatever else you got and you go elsewhere. You're not coming here. That hotel is owned by a white person. I don't give a who owns the Okay, you won't be coming here. Okay, you won't well, be coming I'm, here. I'm you won't be coming here. I'm going to have to go over your head. That's what's going to have to happen. You can't go over my Head. Don't you want to be a proud member of the clan? No, I don't want to be no proud member of no Ku Klux Klan. We're starting to let black people join. You want to be a black member. people join? Is that supposed to be a privilege? It is a privilege to be a part of the clan, and you're black. You ignorant, neck crazy. The clan next to the high almighty dragon is gonna be a beautiful thing. Almighty dragon gonna get his drug. You let that come up in this hotel. Uh, you know what? I've never, I've never in my whole life gone through anything like this, and I'm trying to get a hotel room. But y'all have messed over my people, and so now it's time, it's time to change now. Times have changed. Listen, and we believe in making a change. And since Obama got in office, we've decided that we're going to let black people join. What? Don't nobody want to join your clan? You ignorant. I tell you what, you bring your clan up to this hotel, right? Now, and I'm gonna have some black clams in your come on with me. As a matter of fact, hurry up and come on. That'll be the last meeting y'all gonna have. Please, hurry up, come on. I'm waiting on you. Come hey, on, look, I don't want to go back and forth with you. I just wanted to get a room. That's all I wanted to do. No, so we can okay, have a bring you all of y'all. Come on, right now. I'm, I'm we're waiting on y'all. I want to come in and have a meeting and invite people to be a part of my come organization. On. Come on. All right. And I'm letting you know that you're going to be the first black member of the Ku Klux Klan. Do you not want to be a part of us? No, I don't want to be a part of the Ku Klux Klan. I tell you what, when we're going to be a part of Kenya, y'all up, though. Just come on. I Hurry got up. one more thing I need to say to you. Are you listening to me? Come on. Are you listening? Yes. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show, baby. You just got pranked by your sister's what did you just say? I say, this is nephew Tommy, baby, from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Josephine, your sister pranked you. <laughs> no! <laughs> Got to be kidding me! You no good. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm so sorry. You all right? No, I'm not all right. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> I am so embarrassed, sir. Come on, give my sister for this. <laughs> I'm, I don't know what to say. I, I mean, I am so sorry. Oh, I'm so God. embarrassed. <laughs> I got to ask you something, baby. What is what is the baddest radio show in the land? The baddest radio show in the land is the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> I listen to it every day. <laughs> Hello? Hello, I wish to speak with a Mr. <laughs> please. Hello, sir. Um, my name is Sebastian. I am with the um, Art Institute, and I wanted to give you a call about, um, I have a huge showing coming up where I'm going to be displaying my portfolio and all of my drawings within it, but I have one drawing that I'm looking to display that I have not put on canvas yet, and I'm looking to take something uh, uh, of essence to put on canvas, and I wanted to right. call you about getting permission well, wait, hold on, dog. Just to stop you right now, I don't, I don't do that, all right? I'm not a model. That's not my profession. So you would not waste your time no more, you know what I'm saying? Just no, you can go no, ahead and go. Uh, Mr. Mr. I don't think you understand that my showing is going to have some very important people there. Okay. I am, like I said before, with the Art Institute. Okay, yeah, but like I said, dog, I don't do that. That's not me. I mean, dog, I, I hate it. You know, hi, what, would you just call them folks up? You a solicitor or something? I mean, y'all just randomly picking out folks and trying to trying to get them to, to model up, man. I ain't sir, trying to break sir, your sir, sir, Mr. No, I'm not just randomly calling people. I I actually have done research in order to get your number. What what I'm doing is I I'm not calling you as far as being a model that I'm going to portray on canvas, 
but you have something far more greater visually that I would like what? to behold on canvas. Now, you're married to your wife is. <laughs> am I oh. correct? Oh, whoa, 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 dog. No, for real, who is this? Seriously, I, I mean, because like, I can get my number. How, no, how do you get my number? Because you're talking about my wife and stuff? Sir, my how name, you know my wife? My name is Sebastian. I am with the Art Institute. What I'm trying to do is capture and, and, and immortalize the beauty of essence on canvas. Okay, yo, for real, though? You, you just can't, you, you, you don't talk about my wife, all right? So no, I, sir, I, I, I'm not, I'm not call, calling in a negative manner towards your wife. I want to, I want to mortalize her and, and capture her on canvas, the okay. beauty that she beholds. I've seen your wife several times. You guys reside. In whoa, whoa, whoa! You see my wife? But wait, where I, you I, see my wife at? What? Why you? Why I, you? Why are you watching my wife? I've seen her. She she shops on 125th Street in Harlem. I've seen her so many times there. And she holds all the beauty that an artist would like to put on canvas. Uh, like I said before, I have a huge showing in May. You're welcome to come out as well. Yeah, There's uh -huh. going to be so many important people there. But I want to, to call and get permission from you about painting your wife. No, you ain't got that permission, Playboy. You just can't. You just can't go around following my wife and, and, and trying to mortalize her, whatever the f you just said. All right, so, so no. I, I, but I, I would like to let you know I, I have taken the liberty myself. I have painted your wife's head. What? I, I, Yo, you have lost your damn mind. You can't be just walking around here painting folks' head. You gotta get permission for that. What's wrong with you? Yo, you are crazy. You don't understand. Your wife holds the essence that every artist wants. To I don't care what the she holds. You can't be going around painting folks' heads and. What's wrong with you? Sir, that's the reason why I'm calling, trying to get permission from you. I, Sebastian, want to put your wife on canvas because she holds the essence that every artist wants to behold. She mortalized the beauty of canvas. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, dog. Hold up, dog. Hold up, dog. You telling me you walking around Harlem painting my wife's head? What kind sir, of is that? What the are you doing, dude? Yo, sir, you, sir, you, you, I'm only trying to complete my no, portfolio. I no, no. Your portfolio. Here, listen to this. If I see my wife's head anywhere, I don't care, newspaper, magazine, I don't care where, billboard, wherever the f***, yo, I'm going to find your b and I'm going to whoop your b Do you understand what I'm saying to you? I'm going to shoot the to you. You understand that? Sir, I don't want to have a duel with you, sir. A duel? What the f*** is a duel? What the f*** say duel? What the f*** say duel? What the f*** say duel? In fact, what the f*** name is Sebastian? What kind of f*** name is that, Sebastian? Sir. All I want to do is paint your wife in her rawest and purest form. Oh. That's what all the f*** does raw and purest form mean? What, what the f*** do you want? Seriously. I want to paint your wife. I, I want to paint her in the nude. Are you out your f***ing mind? No, 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 no. That's what you should do. Tell me where you at. You want to paint something? I'll give you something to f***ing paint. Tell me where you at. 125th, meet me 125th, that's what's up, I wanna whoop your ass, meet me, meet me, paint me, paint me, you out your mind talking about you wanna paint my wife in the nude, I'm gonna take them brushes and stick them up your Mr. she holds the essence that every person should be I don't give a what she holds, ass, I don't give a shit, be out your mind for asking me some like that. Sir, I must ask you, do you think that you are the only person that has seen your wife in the nude. Surely there's been men before you that have seen her in the nude. Oh, that. Who the f are you? Hey, my wife ain't no mother. You call my wife a f Is that what you say? Are you calling my wife a f f you. I want to paint no. your wife in the beauty that she be in on canvas. What the f did you not understand? I just said f you. No. F I told you, meet me on the corner of 125th and claim power. F I got one more thing. I just want to say to you. What? Say it. Say it. What? This is Matthew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your boy. <laughs> what? What? This is this is nephew. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Oh. Oh. Oh man, yo, man, yo, yo. Oh. I was moving furniture and shit in here, dude. Tommy, <laughs> I mean, you got me, dog. Oh, man, y'all got me. It was Sebastian, sir. Oh, yeah, yeah dude. Where the f*** you get Sebastian, bro? <laughs> I want to 
I was about to whoop your ass and Sebastian's ass. I was to paint brushes and all. We was about to paint all of with your ass. Man, he told me, man. He said, man, he oh, said he man. loved his wife. Hell yeah. Part. I said, all right. So let, me, let me say this right now. Loves you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hey, I'm trying to reach Brad. Yo, this is Brad. What's up? Hey, what's going on, Brad? Hey, this is Kenny, man. What's going on with you? Who? Kenny. Uh, uh, you know, I, I know you through, uh, through Scotty. Oh, oh, that's my brother, Rick Potter. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ought to know me through Scotty, man. I done hung out with y'all a few times. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, what's, what's, what's good with you? Oh, man, first and foremost, man, happy holidays to you, brother. Appreciate it, man. Like, what's up, my man? Yeah, yeah, you hustling, man? You out there getting it? Man, you know, I'm just chilling, man. Just trying to, try to make it happen and get through the season. You know how it is. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Hey, what's your name was again, though? Kenny, man, Kenny. Kenny, okay, I'm I'm sorry. I'm trying to put a face with it, though, you know what I'm saying? I don't just remember it like, oh. Right, 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 right. I, I used to work with Scotty, man, but even after, you know, I, I left that job over there, we still, we were still kind of hanging together, me and him, and your brother Rick, man, every night, and then you come out, you, you know me as soon as you see me. Oh, okay, yeah, because I'm, yeah, I'm struggling with that one, bro. But, yeah, okay, well, hey, hey, uh, man, I really actually called you, man, I'm trying to do something big for Christmas, you know, and uh, I wanted to reach out to you, man, and, and, and see if you would be down for, uh, for doing, for doing a couple things, man. Oh, okay. What you talking about, uh, the little hookup thing I had? Uh, the TVs, the baby? Them, them what now? Yeah, the TV. You know, I used to do the TVs. I don't, I don't do it no more, though, dog. If that's what you're calling about, man, I'm, I'm out the business, man. My man doing a solid three on that, man. I'm, I'm done with that, dude. I'm, I'm stripping the shit, dude. Oh, okay, no, nah, it ain't got nothing to do with no TVs. No. Nah. Oh, okay. Okay, you, oh, you, okay, you used to have a hookup on the TV. You think that's why I'm calling? Yeah, that's what I thought you were calling about. What's up? Oh, uh, okay, man. Here, here, what's up, man? I wanted to do something special. Christmas, man. And, you know, I thought about it, thought about it, man, trying to get my courage up to, to ask you, dog. Uh, you know, it seemed like we always had a good vibe every time we, uh, we got together, you know. Everybody was kind of real cool. Me, me and you, I know you don't remember, man. We played, you know, we played heads up dominoes with each other, man. It, it was, you know, I think we hit it all pretty good. Okay. So, well, what I wanted to do, man, what, what you doing for Christmas? Uh, yeah, I don't know just that, player. I don't really know just that. What, what, what's up? Man, I, I, I know it's going to sound kind of crazy, man, but, uh, you know, I've been thinking about it a long time. Hey, man, we, we, were you, uh, on Christmas Day, man, we, we, will you marry me? Did you just ask me to marry me? Who the f***? Who the f***? This is Kenny, man. This is Kenny, man. Like I said, I used to run with Rick now, man. That's how I know you. I know I know Rick, your brother, but yeah, I, that's how I used to see you, man, with Rick. With, with. I, I know it's kind of kind of strange or whatever, but you know, you know, I've been wanting to... What the f*** did you just ask me, dude? I hope you say come carry you somewhere. Because I know, like, you ain't say what I thought you said. No, I, 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 so I'm, please, I'm, I'm asking you please. for your hand in marriage, man. I will give you my hands, but I guarantee it won't be a marriage. Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm a little disappointed. I, I thought you'd have been excited about it. I'm excited about kicking your. That's about it. Hold up. I tell you what, bro. I don't remember who you are, but if you show yourself, I'm gonna marry the to the pavement. Trust and believe that. What? Hold on. When the did we hang out together, and what made you think you could ask me to? Like that, tell me what the hell you saw in me so I can say that to make you feel like you can ask a grown heterosexual man to marry me? Hey, man, I mean, you know, all over the country, man, people people, people getting married, dude. So, I mean, it's not a, it shouldn't be a big surprise, you know? Hey, who know each other, who like each other, you don't ask what I want to say cologne that you up. Let me know it is. I mean, I don't know what kind of vibes you were getting from me. Believe me, I would like to get my feet done again. No, that's because that's some look, bro. If another man want to marry another rusty man, I'm okay with that. If two pretty chicks or two ugly chicks want to get married, I'm cool with that. But what in the hell happened to make your want to ask me to like that? What do we hang out and 
how in the hell did you get my no. Hey man, hey dog, you you getting all excited, man? You, you need to calm down a little bit, man. I'm just I'm just trying to I'm just trying to talk to you. Come on, my. As a matter of fact, you know what? I'm calling my brother and, and I'm gonna ask this if he know your. So we come see your. And I'm gonna knock you the out. What's your whole name? I'm gonna up. How the hell you gonna call? Brad, 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 Brad like please, that. Brad, please, come on, man. Just think twice about that. my name. You don't know me. Will you think twice about marrying me? Don't call my no more. So this is what I wanted for Christmas, man. I wanted this for Christmas. Don't say you give me a man Christmas. That's it. Give me no number. Let me call my brother. Ask him who you are so we come over there and dismiss your because this is a uh, hey, you know what, man? You you getting you getting too irate, man. I, I... I'm getting irate. You call a grown heterosexual man and ask him to marry you? What the you expect? Hey, hey, hey! I thought it was all right to call you, man. I thought it. Was, I thought you would be more open mind. What the man? It's too far. It's all right to call me. What's wrong with you? So, so you, Brad, would not take my lovely wedding hand and and and, and marriage. The love. I won't say so. All your legs, your nothing, and nothing. So wrong with you, bro? Just what is your name and what's your number? That's all I need from you. That's it. Okay, okay, here. Take, here, take the number down, man. You ready? Yeah, give me the number. 877 29 Huh? 877 29 Hold on, dog. Jump. So that means you've been disrespecting me from the jump. So now I got to get in your 
Nah, you just in troll off on yourself. So irregardless, I'm coming to see you today, Jack. Hey, and, and my name ain't Jack, man. My name Cliff. But you're not. Hey, I'm not. Okay, well look here, like Cliff. I, say, I don't have no. Huh? I'm not trying to have no confrontation. I just wanted you to be aware of the schedule. Yeah. Okay. I'm definitely aware <laughs> now, Cliff. Who the hell is you, hey, man? Hey, man. Another thing, man. Is I want to tell you this. Like I, I know, I know your tattoo on uh, your name on her lower back. I've seen that. Oh, uh, it's a Dorsey what? right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Hold on, man. You telling me you didn't see the tattoo on her back? Is that what you telling oh, me? On her lower back, man. Right, 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 right on above her tailbone. Yeah, I seen it. Dorsey, your name Dorsey, right? Man, who the f is this, man? What's your real name? Hey, man, there you go. Calm down, man. Are you are you cool with the now, schedule change? Calm down. You call my phone. Are you cool with the schedule changing is what I'm asking. What? Are you cool with her schedule changing? You see what I'm saying? Her schedule going to come back to normal once Lent is over with. I gave up messing around with her for Lent, man, but not for him. I'm not cool with a thing. I'm about to be cool in your face in a minute. Now tell me your name, tell me your number, and your real address, and we're going to talk about our list in person. Okay. All right. Well, what? My name. What's my, your name? My, my, uh, I'm a, my name Tommy, man. Okay, now we getting somewhere. Tell me what? I mean, they, I mean, why you need my last name? Cause I'm finna come see you. What you mean? Why I need your last name? Hold on, hold on. Somebody get Angie on the phone. Hey, hold on. Don't go nowhere. We finna get Angie on the phone right now, and we gonna settle this right now. Hold on. Get on the phone. Call her. Call her for real. Yeah. Tell me who. What you scared of? Okay, man. They call me nephew Tommy. Oh, who? My name nephew Tommy <laughs> from Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> hell no. <laughs> she done set me up, man. Man, your wife got me to prank call you, man. She tells you that I left. I just left the house. Call him now. Uh, uh, that's why ain't answering the phone. It was over for you, man. Y'all, come on, man. Y'all wrong for this, man. This nigga be against the law, man. Hey, man, I gotta ask you, baby, what's the baddest radio show in the land, man? The Steve Harvey Morning Show. I guess. <laughs> That's a big mess right there. Oh, really yeah. there. You're trying to give up something for Lent, you know? That's all. <laughs> Hold it, man. Back up. You're Back up, dog. Me. Tell me what you said again. Because <laughs> dudes don't be understanding this. Yeah. You don't come. You can give up my wife for Lynn. But are you cool but, but with the fun? schedule change? Yeah. A real man come. A real man, of course, did. did you know she was... Hey, dog. Yeah. Hey, dog. Did, did you, you know? know? Yeah. Okay, so you done just disrespected me hey, from the jump. You. <laughs> See, you just told off on yourself. Mm -hmm. Now, I got I to got come to. down there. I, I got to now. Why? I got to come down there and get off in your blade. Because, dog, I, you you knew it? Okay, cool. Now, <laughs> see, this thing about men, it always come down to one thing, respect. Yeah. Yes, it does. Yeah. Yes, it if does. You yeah. did, everything with a man involves respect. You, Walmart uh, got oh. it for you if you're looking for it. Walmart has it for you. Church folk got it last. Hello, uh, I'm trying to reach uh, uh, Devin. Devin. Yeah, this is man. Hey, Devin, how you doing, man? My name is uh, Curtis, man. Curtis. I was trying to reach out to you. You, uh, you, your, your, your son. Uh, he plays uh, uh, basketball with my nephew, man. Uh, your son is the one that's on the on the Blazers Little League basketball team, right? Yeah, yeah, he plays for the Blazers. Everything all right? Yeah, Are you yeah. Okay, with my boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything good, man. You know they got a game Saturday and everything. I I seen you a couple of times, man, at the game. I don't know if you remember me, man. Uh, light skinned brother, about about six foot. Yeah, I'm, I probably met you. I probably met you. you. Know, I'd be so intense with the game, but yeah, what's what's going on? Um, uh, uh, well, actually, man, I wanted to holler at you about about your son, man. Um, you you um, do, are you are you are you working right now? Are you currently working? Am I? I'm not working, but yeah, I am working actually. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, you have a you have a steady job, is what I'm asking. I mean, yeah. What you what you getting at though? Like, you know, I I, I thought you were calling about the basketball team, like uniforms. I know we got a game Saturday. You know, sometimes they want donations for sneakers and all that. 
like you know. No, 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 no. What I was asking, so, so I mean, you you got a regular nine to five job you go to all the time? Yeah, I got a nine to five. I mean, you know, it's a recession right now. Things is kind of crazy, but hours is kind of short. But you know, I still I still work. I mean, what was going on? You need a job or something? No, no, no. Um, I'm just checking, man. See, what I wanted to get at you about, man, is seeing. Uh, are you gonna are you gonna claim your son uh, d on your income tax this year? Hold on, bro. Now you said, am I gonna claim my son on my taxes this year? Right. I mean, like you you know, as as a dependent. Bro, you asking some real personal questions now. You know, like we, you you the guy that you just said you know me from the basketball team that my son play on basis. You know, and now you done jump from the blazers to do I claim my son on my taxes and do I have a, a steady income? I mean, like, you know, yeah, I, I got I got a steady income and I'm claiming my son. What, 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 I mean, what you trying to get at, bro? Well, well see, man, what I was thinking, uh, you know, I just wanted to read. You seem like a cool dude when I saw you at the gym, man. What I was going to ask you, bro, is, you know, see, right now, man, when I get through with my taxes and stuff, I'm going to have to owe about eight hundred dollars, but now I see if I claim a child as my dependent, man, they gonna give me about twenty two, twenty three hundred. You see what I'm saying? And what I wanted to get at you about, man, is you know you let me claim as my son, you know, so I can go and get this good hold money. Up, bro, hold up, bro, bro. I mean, with all due respect, bro, you talking about you want to claim my son on taxes? Hold on, bro. I don't even know you. Uh, you know, you're talking about you seen me at my son's basketball game. You might be the police for all I know, bro. You sound like the police. No, 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 no. It about. ain't. It ain't. Ain't nobody gonna come at you sideways like that, man. I ain't. I ain't trying to come like what I'm trying to say, man. No, they finna hit me up for this 800. Well, see, I can get 2300, man. I I kick you down 250. You understand what I'm saying, man? Everybody cool. 250. You crazy? Now you sound like a joke, bro, because now you're insulting me. You're telling me you want to claim my child for some where you owe money. I don't even know you, fool, so I can make 250 Bro, I ain't trying to be on no bro, but when I claim my kids, I'm getting the same exact price you getting. I'm getting 2300 too. So what the I look like taking $200 from I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Okay, but I'm the one stuck over here paying the 800, man. I'm just acting, like, asking you to look out for a brother, man. You saying we in a recession bro, and everything? Look out. Yeah. Look out. It's a recession. You know my check been cut from 40 hours a week to 13 hours a week, and I still got these little asking me for Jordan. Michael Jordan ain't never put a dime. That's in my why I'm house. trying to hook you up with 250, man. Damn, you don't even see a good thing when it's coming at you, bro. Bro, I don't know. What you talking about, bro? No, two fifty, bro. When I claim these two little, I'm getting twenty three hundred dollars a piece, bro. What you think I'm gonna take two fifty from you for? I don't even know you like that. So man, you ain't got it. Ain't you ain't got a trip, I man. Understand if you was my bro, you my people. You know, maybe we could do a little something. I can understand that. But bro, you ain't gonna give me no two fifty when I'm getting the same thing they offering you twenty three hundred. This government money, bro. So what is I'm supposed to do? What am I supposed to uh, do, Devin? Tell me that. I mean, bro. What you're supposed to do is go out your seed, claim that little every year, and you'll get what I get for these little that I'm seeding and cloving every day. That's what you're going to have to do. My hours done got cut from 40 to 15 hours a week. I had to go pick me up a little side hustle. You understand? But Rock is in office, bro. You got to change your ways. You out here trying to get me locked up for a government scam. Bro. All I'm trying to do, man, is get this 800 off my back, dog. That's all I'm trying. Man, ain't nobody trying to get no trouble, man. Bro, you still talking about getting you 800 and getting me locked up? Now, you got me up. I'm out here working hard to support my kids, man. Man, I ain't, so I ain't finna sit here and no go through this with you man. no more, man. I ain't finna sit here and go through this with you no more. Is you gonna help me with this money or not? Bro, I ain't helping you with bro. I need... And when I see you on Saturday, bro, I'm gonna fuck you up, bro. I promise you, bro. I need your son's social security number right now. That's what I need. Bro, let me tell you something, bro. What you look like, bro? You said you was a light skin. And you're going about six foot. Bro, when I see you, when I step in that gymnasium, bro, I'm on your ass, bro. You ain't on my, you ain't on Blazers, on Blazers and Lakers, bro. You better bring that damn Social Security number. I think it's a game. I'm going to come find him.
Okay, cool. I got one more thing I need to say to you. Is you listening to me? I don't even know why this is on my phone, bro. Why am I even talking to this fool? I got one more thing I need to say to you, man. Is you listening to me? Say your last statement you want on your tombstone, bro. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked, baby. <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> this Nephew Tommy, man. What's up, Devin? What's up, fool? You got me out here going crazy, Hey, bro. man, you got, hey, do you got a boy that you work with named Yeah, crazy Put me up to this, man. <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm a big <laughs> Keep doing what you're doing. We need good daddies in the world, brother. Man, thank you, bro. Yeah. Hey, one more thing, man. I gotta ask you. You gotta tell me, man. What is the baddest radio show in the land? Man, Steve Harvey Morning Show, brother. <laughs> Y'all crazy, man. I'm a beat. <laughs>